Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today is the day. GCU's quest for a national title starts in about two or so hours, and they are searching for their first ever NCAA tournament win in program history. Now, tonight's game of all games seems to be their best chance to finally get over the hump. And for more on the 12-5 matchup, we head out to Spokane, Washington live, where we find 12 sports journalist Lena Washington. And Lena, it's almost game time, and are you starting to see a lot of purple in the house? Oh yes, Luke, the Havocs are here. GCU fans have arrived and Gonzaga fans are in the building because they are rivals with the St. Mary's Gales. I've already had fans tell me they are rooting for the Lopes. Grand Canyon again has a good shot at picking up its first NCAA tournament win in program history against St. Mary's. It's a 12-5 matchup. We've already seen a stunning upset here at Spokane Arena. Grand Canyon's looking to close out the night with another upset. But this program has really been building in a successful direction over the last 10 years since making the transition into Division I. And since head coach Bryce Drew was hired in 2020, this is now the third time the Lopes are dancing, putting Grand Canyon on college basketball's biggest stage and drawing national attention. I spoke with Grand Canyon President Brian Mueller during open practice yesterday, and he shared how his vision for GCU hoops has come to life with Kuru at the helm. When Vanderbilt let him go, we knew that was a major mistake. He had major injuries his last year there. He had taken to the tournament the prior two years, and we targeted him immediately. This is just the beginning for us. Uh, what Gonzaga has done, I think they've been here 26 years. We've targeted that for a number of years. What Mark Few has been to Gonzaga, uh, Bryce Drew is going to be to Grand Canyon. High praise and big goals for the Grand Canyon basketball program. Again, looking to win its first NCAA tournament game in just a few hours when they tip off against St. Mary's, capping off another exciting day of college hoops. For now, we'll send it back to you in Phoenix. We're live in Spokane. Lena Washington, 12 Sports.